Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video we are going to talk about a book that is on my uh, 12 books for 12 months of 2022 and that is Melly, Mary Riley from Valerie Martin. This book is an inspired book, an inspired novel by this one here, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. My intention was to reread this book because I read it in August last year and I intended to reread it so I could talk about it here a bit and then talk about Mary Riley but I didn't have much time again <laughs> so I wasn't able to reread the book so I'm going to talk about just a little bit about this one The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, so you can have an idea what the story talks about so then we uh, we talk about Mary Riley. So, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde uh, starts with uh, a situation of, I don't know if it is a beating, I think it is a beating, that Edward Hyde does to someone and at the beginning of the story we become to know that by a friend of Dr. Jekyll, that is a medic, Dr. Jekyll, he's a medic, an investigative uh, medic, he does many experiences and we know Mr. Hyde because the Edward Hyde, as he is a uh, known person from Dr. Jekyll, we become to understand that Mr. Hyde is quite violent. And the story is very short, as you, as you can see. Um, and it's a, a type of story that is better if you don't know anything about it. So if you are interested to read this story, because you heard talking about it, please go and don't read the synthesis. Don't read... Uh, any commentaries or reviews about it because you can uh, catch a spoiler and that ruin it, ruins the story of this book. I know the, the story um, of Mary Wiley because of a movie with Julia Roberts and John Malkovich. Uh, I saw this movie many years ago, it's a movie from 1996, so it's an old one, but I love that movie. And so I discovered the spoiler of the whole story through the movie, but at the time I was little. I didn't have any idea that the story was based on a book. And that the book that uh, the movie was based on was based on another book. I just known it maybe last year, so <laughs> for you to have an idea. And um, what can I say more about this? So, Dr. Jekyll is trying experiments, is trying to do experiments but you don't know much about it. Um, what can I say is that this book is about duality, how um, everything has two faces in life. We follow the story of Dr. Jekyll trying to make excuses from Edward Hyde, for Edward Hyde, and we don't really understand why, and it's all about the complications that the, his actions have on Dr. Jekyll's life. 
so I'm not going to say much about it I'm going to stay here from the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because I read this a few months ago so I don't have the story uh, so much um, present in my memory but I just want to give you a little something about the story not too much because I think that is really important if you go to the story knowing nothing because there is a um, a breakthrough in the story that I think it's best if you go blind. So about Mary Riley. This is a story about a maid that is a maid in the house of Dr. Jekyll. And she writes her in a diary. So what we accompany here is her entries in her diary that she writes when she has time. Uh, we follow her life, her daily life. She uh, talks about the things that she does during the day, the tasks that she has. And we uh, become to understand that she, she had a really troubled childhood because the daughter Jekyll becomes interested in uh, scars that she has in her wrists and in, the, in her neck and he becomes really curious about it and ask, uh, asks her um, to tell the story of that scars and she becomes a bit reluctant to do it because it's bad memories for her but he convinces her and she writes in a letter to him uh, about the story of how how the scars came to be and then we uh, follow um, her conversations with our daughter Jekyll we um, find that she is really happy in that house because she says it's the best house that she has been a maid in and um, she feels safe there and then in the middle of the story, Dr. Jekyll makes an announcement to, the, to his uh, employees that he's, uh, he, he has employed an assistant, that's Edward Hyde, and that he will um, go in and go out of the house as he pleases, and that they have to behave to him as they behave to Dr. Jekyll. So he will be entry the house whenever he pleases. And so it's he's to make use of the house as he were Dr. Jekyll. So then we accompany the mysterious personality that he has, Dr. Edward Hyde. Everyone is afraid of him, so they see glimpses of Edward Hyde here and there and all of them say that he is uh, strange that he is of small stature he has kind of a limp and then we follow uh, Mary um, having some conversations with him that are also really strange really bizarre we can comprehend that Edward Hyde has a uh, peculiar personality that is kind of macabre macabre how do you say it macabre right i'm not sure then we follow the um, to the end of the book that that happens something that mary finds out uh, about the doctor and this mr edward hyde so she finds out something about this doctor and his um, connection with Edward Hyde that is quite um, peculiar as well. And so that's the main breakthrough of the story. And then we accompany her when her mother dies and she has to go to... Um, 
um, where her mom lived and her voyage there and how she was a woman that suffered whole, whole her life and worked all, all her life and she thinks about how she had a miserable life of poverty and hard work and she dies and that's it so this is a reflexive book also and then yesterday i uh, had the opportunity to saw the to see i'm sorry to see the movie again so i rewatch it and i have to say that i like the movie better i like more of the movie because um, I think that there is more dialogues between Dr. Jekyll, maybe not Dr. Jekyll, but with Edward Hyde and Mary Wiley. So there are more interactions between those two. The movie is more, um, there, there are some details in the movie with some interactions between Mary Wiley and other characters that I think are more um, profound and the whole mysticism about the movie and the ambience the foggy nature of the movie uh, all of that I think that has that had more depth and show showed more about all of the characters so there are some situations that happen in the movie that doesn't happen in the book I think they developed a little bit more and that showed that you know you captured more about the story the story had more to be said about and I liked very much the um, romanticization that they they made with Mary Riley and Dr. Jekyll and Edward Hyde that was um, I think very well made I love the interpretations of Julia Roberts and John Malkovich. I think they are impeccable in that movie. They both um, gave the performances that the characters um, asked for. And overall, I think the movie has more, as I said, has more depth to all the situations that happened and um, what the characters uh, asked for to be shown. So I enjoyed reading the book, seeing this story in a perspective of a maid, of other person, another person. So that was quite interesting. I just hoped that the book had some aspects of the movie. So that it would be more involving because in the book I think it felt short you it's like you are looking for something more there that that doesn't exist I think also that um, as I saw the movie first that influenced a lot because I was expecting some scenes to happen and they they, they never did so it's a bittersweet experience what I had so I advise you to read the book first and then see the movie and if you do that please let me know what you thought about the book and the movie have you ever seen the movie let me know I would love to know and yeah I think that's it I hope you have enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posted there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. Leave a like, it helps a lot with the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. And yeah.